My favorite childhood memory, and it's still to this day, uh, every summer we go up north on the lake and uh, we spend the whole day fishing and out on my grandpa's pontoon boat. And we have this little island in the middle of the lake and we go out there and just hang out and have fun and throw frisbee and football. And at, at night we have a little bonfire and everyone sings songs and tells my grandpa. <laughs> He tells the same joke every year, and every year it gets funnier and funnier and funnier. His delivery is hilarious. I couldn't even do it if I tried, but he uh, he's probably one of the funniest people that I know. And we just have so much fun laughing and being by the fire and singing. And it's probably the best, and that is even the best thing because it keeps happening over and over. So. What do you like to do in your free time? Oh man, I love going to movies with my friends in my free time. I love, sometimes it's just really nice to be home. <laughs> this is going to sound bad, but when I have, when I've been gone for maybe a week from, from my house, I am so excited to go home and watch my trash TVs, like <laughs> my reality shows. I, <laughs> I just sit there and just get, I don't know, I love, it's, it's my time and you know, no one can say anything. It, even if they're silly shows, but I, I love them, and it's nice to just be alone and just be with my friends and play guitar. And I love shopping, obviously, <laughs> and going to eat ice cream. So I have this superstition. Every time, <laughs> every time I fly, I have to kiss the plane on the right side and touch it three times. And one time I didn't do it. And I literally started to have an anxiety attack and people were still coming in. And I was sitting kind of pretty much towards the back. And I was like, I have to get up. I didn't <laughs> I didn't kiss the plane. <laughs> the person next to me was thought I was crazy, but I have to do it. So I literally once they were seated, I, I ran up and I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I like but before like they shut the door and I like <laughs> I touched it and she's like, I understand the flight attendant totally, totally got it. So and um, I have some embarrassing stories, but probably ones I'm going to keep to myself for a little while. <laughs> so if I wrote an autobiography about myself, the, um, the title would be Belief. That has been the, um, the thing that gets me through uh, a lot of days, and the good and the bad tattooed it in my arm. <laughs> so, and it's a... Uh, it's, I think it's a good universal thing too because you um, to believe in yourself and you believe things, things come true. So what's the craziest interview question you've ever been asked? Um, the craziest interview question I've ever been asked? Hmm. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> I was like, um... I'm just gonna walk off the carpet now and I'm just gonna go cry. <laughs> it was sad. But I just was like, well, um, I don't know. <laughs>